Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hafsa. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are doing better than me. I'm currently recovering a cold and a bad cough. It just seems like every other video I'm sick or something. But yeah, I had a really bad cough, which is why I couldn't record this as soon as I wanted to. But today's video, if you couldn't tell by the intro, is a fall essentials video. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's new stuff that I've purchased. It's things you can have laying around the house that you can find useful and that just help you cozy up for the fall weather. If you guys are interested in what my fall essentials are, then cozy up in your favorite pajamas like I am, grab your favorite hot cup of tea or coffee, and let's get started. I'm gonna start off with this Bath & Body Works candle. It's a peace potion and I guess the scent is purple amethyst. This is such a cute candle. I think it's one of their newer, um, natural oil collection candles it just looks like a spice jar i thought it was so cute so i purchased it it's not necessarily mm, it smells so clean it smells really good guys i can't wait to burn it i actually didn't burn it for the sake of this video but i'm definitely going to tonight or like later on today um this isn't necessarily like a fall or pumpkin scent it consists of orange peel bergamot and sandalwood and natural oils so it's not necessarily like your oak or your pumpkin spice or you know your autumn leaves or something like that it's just a very cozy and warm just reminds me of like sipping tea by the fireplace kind of candle the next candle i want to talk about but please do not judge me on this because this one i did not care i burned it i burned it to its finish line it's the pumpkin cupcake candle from bath and body works as well um, I think pretty much every set I'm going to talk about today is from Bath & Body Works. It says, satisfy your sweet tooth with the set of a freshly baked cup pumpkin cupcake covered in loads of rich buttercream frosting. Oh my god, if that doesn't want to make you buy this candle, then I don't know. But this smells really good. I've burned it almost every night and it makes it is like the epitome of fall for me. Another candle that I love and I'm probably going to purchase next time I go to Bath & Body Works is marshmallow fireside that is my favorite um fall winter candle of all time i actually got a, a two of those last season and i completely finished them because i would burn them for like hours and like all day and night because it just smelled so good moving on to the next candle this is now a mini candle um and i'll show you guys why i got the mini candle in a few it's called creep it real and this is more festive and for the halloween time um but if you would want to get like the actual candle if they don't have any more um it's just a flannel scent um it, but the name is creep it real but the actual set is flannel and this smells really really good too it's like sweet with it just smells like fall leaves i i don't know it just gives me the scent of fall leaves it smells really good too i love candles that have more of that manly um scent to it except for the pumpkin cupcake that's kind of sweet but yeah i love i love 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 the manly scented candles and this is just shivery autumn breezes bergamot leaves and moonlit mahogany yeah so anything that has mahogany in it is definitely like a hint of like that cologne smell um that it has a bit of that cologne smell in it and now moving on to the reason why I bought the mini candle is this little precious right here. How cute is she? She has a little bow. It's a it's a ghost. Um, and you just take your mini candle and you burn it like this. How cute is this? I think it's adorable. Um, definitely livens up the place and makes your room a lot more festive if you're into that whole you know festive spirit i sure am i mean i tried to make it i tried to make my room a little bit more festive looking yeah how cute is this little holder for the candle and then this is also from bath and body works um and then if you don't want to get that these little accessories were only for like a dollar at Bath & Body Works and obviously don't keep the candle burning but while your candle is on display you just put this hat on your candle it's I mean I'm pretty sure it's not an essential but it just looks so cute and I think the little details really help liven up your room and give it a festive look so I just like adding little details to my room that bring it all together the next three things are the last things from Bath & Body Works 
and then I'm gonna talk to you guys and then I'm gonna talk to you guys about my favorite fall perfume scent. This is the Stress Relief Lotion from Bath and Body Works. It's it has eucalyptus and spearmint in it, and the reason I love this is because it smells a it smells really good. I don't think I've ever smelled anything at Bath and Body Works that doesn't that doesn't smell like amazing. If I could buy everything from there, I probably would. Um, but yeah, this is really good if you just want to unwind your day. You're you come home from a long day, take a nice bath, come out and use this, apply this lotion, and sip some tea. And just listen to your favorite music and just chill out this lotion is really good for that I think this is my second bottle yeah I find that it really helps me out um, the eucalyptus oil clears the mind and the spearmint oil soothes and uplifts the next two items I want to talk about that I tried out for the first time are these concentrated room sprays from Bath and Body Works this one is mahogany teakwood which is one of my favorite all-time scents from Bath and Body Works it smells like really good men's cologne, but not in a very overpowering way. And then this is the Focus Aromatherapy Spray, um, which has eucalyptus and tea in it. And this also smells like men's cologne, but a little bit sweeter. Um, if I could switch it up, I probably wouldn't get two strong scents together. I would have probably gotten something a little lighter and sweeter had I known. When I bought this for the first time, I didn't know how strong these would be. And these are concentrated for sure because I sprayed one, I, I think I sprayed the mahogany teak with all over my room thinking, no, it's like air freshener, and it is nothing like air freshener, you guys. All you need is like one spray or two spray depending on the size of your room, and this will overpower any scent. I love, um, after cooking, if I've left my door open and my clothes smell like food, I love spraying this in my closet and like closing the door of my closet and when I open it, all my clothes smell really good. Or just spraying it and leaving the room, closing it, and you can come back the next day and you will still smell this. These are super concentrated. That's what I love about them. The next thing I want to talk about is a perfume for the fall. This is the Chance by Chanel, and I know that Chanel has about like three of these. I think there's the pink one, the green one, and this one. This one is definitely a lot more richer and deeper, and it's a lot, I would say, mature. I like to use these warmer and richer scents in the cooler times because I just think that it enhances the scent even more. So yeah, I love this perfume. I also love the pink one, but I like that one a little bit more for the summer because it does provide a sweeter smell. Next essentials I want to discuss are more beauty related, like eye makeup, nail polishes. The first thing I'm going to discuss are these nail polishes. Um, this one is from Wet n Wild and it is called Casting Call and the next one is called Exposed from Essie. Um, I like this because it's very neutral but it's not completely bright. It um, is a nice transition color for the fall or I think you can just wear this nail color all year round. It's so pretty and I have worn this and I get so many compliments on it. And this one is a little bit more for the fall. It's like a greenish gray color which I love. For the lips, um, I like this NYX Liquid Suede, and this is the shade Club Hopper. This might be super dark for some of you, but in the fall, I get super pale, and um, I like applying these darker lip colors because I don't know about you guys, but I've noticed every time I wear darker colors, my skin kind of looks a little bit tanner. So yeah, I love this. The color I'm wearing on my lips today is called Rebel from MAC and if you guys remember that color it was trending so much a few years ago but I just think it's a timeless color. It looks pretty on every skin tone and it's such a pretty color for the fall and even all year round because it is a bright pinkish berry, it's not completely deep tone so you can rock this color in the winter or the summer or the fall. A more brownish mauvey shade that I love using in the fall is called Twig and this is a little bit more of a neutral color but I like popping this on when I'm doing a smoky eye or something a little bit darker on my eyes. So yeah, so we have the darker shade and then the lighter shade. The next beauty product I want to talk about is an eyeshadow palette and if you guys know me, I have been obsessing over this baby right here, it is the Modern Renaissance Palette from Anastasia, and if this doesn't scream fall colors to you, then 
I don't know what does, but look how beautiful. You have all your chocolate tones and your deeper fall tones right here and then more of your neutral tones. I actually rock this all through the summer too because of the brighter oranges, but you can totally transition this into the fall and the colors clearly speak for themselves because look how gorgeous it is. And what I love about this palette so much is that you can totally transition from like a natural daytime look to a nighttime look. So this palette is something that I feel everybody needs in their life. The next thing I'd like to share with you guys is a tea. This is a pumpkin spice tea from the Republic of Tea. A little nine-year-old named Simone actually recommended this to me. I would have never tried it in a million years, but when I did, it was so good. It warmed my soul from within. Um, the description says, cozy up and sip this warm blend of fine black tea and autumnal spices, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and cloves. Energizing black tea wards off the chill of the crisp fall season. A splash of warm milk transformed this tea to pumpkin pie in a cup. Oh my god. This is fall in a jar, guys. <laughs> if this doesn't scream fall and then all its deliciousness, then I don't know what does, but I tried this and I was in love. The next edible item I want to introduce you guys to is a salad. And I got this salad from BJ's. It's the Ready Pack Foods. Um, autumn harvest salad. This includes tender spring mix, sweet carrots, roasted pumpkin seeds, diced dates, raisins, pumpkin spiced cornbread croutons, and pumpkin vinaigrette. Yum! This is actually my second bag. Um, it is limited edition and I got it from BJ's as I said. I'm not sure if Costco or other grocery stores um, sell it, but if they do, I highly recommend it. It's so delicious with some grilled chicken or even some grilled fish and, or a soup. It just tastes really, really good. It's a huge bag, so it'll last you about like a good four or five days if you choose to have the salad every day. <laughs> you cannot have fall without a leather jacket. This, however, isn't like completely leather. It's leatherish material but it's not that shiny leather which I actually love um, my husband actually bought this for me as a gift from Armani exchange but it's so perfect it fits me perfectly and it's not too short of a jacket where I feel you know like uncomfortable wearing it and I think it goes perfectly with everything with jeans with a dress with a sweater and or a t-shirt it's just perfect so yeah a leather jacket is definitely an essential and then the next jacket I want to discuss with you guys is a denim jacket. I love denim and I love pairing denim with so many things. You can dress denim jackets up or you can dress them down. I got this jacket from Forever, Forever 21 and I like the denim jackets to be a little bit baggy so then you can wear something more fitted inside. What I love about this jacket are the rose embroidery details. I just didn't have anything like this in my wardrobe. The next clothing item I want to discuss which is kind of like a jacket are cardigans. This is a cardigan that I got like a while ago but it's so nice and it's so so warm. Sometimes I don't even need a jacket over this because this sweater is so warm. I just put like a long sleeves t-shirt on under, a long sleeves shirt on underneath because it is that wooly fabric and I cannot wear this all by its own or with like a t-shirt otherwise it will itch my arms and I am all about comfort as you guys can see. I got this from Kohl's. It's the brand Apartment 9 and it's extra small but it fits me really nice. The next sweater I want to discuss is my favorite sweater of all time and you guys have probably seen me wearing this already. It's my fuzzy sweater from H&M. I love this sweater so so much it's a pink fluffy sweater it's so soft and even though this is a small um, I'm able to wear this it's so oversized um, I love wearing this when it's really cold out I wear it with like a long sleeve shirt underneath and just layer this over or I just wear this with tights and some boots and I'm good to go but this sweater is literally one of my luckiest finds I've used and abused this sweater so much the next clothing item I want to discuss with you guys is a flannel shirt. I also have this in red. I got this from H&M. I actually bought this shirt when I was pregnant. It's a size 8, but it came in use because I love wearing my clothes oversized. So I was using it when I was pregnant, and I'm using it now. I like 
it tucked into my jeans or I just tie it at the waist. This shirt is always a good idea to have in your fall wardrobe. Two more things, actually three more things I want to discuss with you guys. Then we're going to wrap this video up. Our scarves. This one I got from H&M. I love this scarf. You can wear it just like this. Oh. Or you can like wrap it around your neck and close up your jacket and this keeps you so cozy this is from forever 21 and this is one of those infinity scarves that you can just wrap around this is super super soft and this is also one of my favorite sweaters it's one of my favorite scarves um, it keeps me super warm and yeah I think the last essential that I feel everyone needs for the fall are Booties! These booties are from Zara. Actually, my friend Minna, she she had bought them initially and I fell in love with them because the style is so cool. I've never seen anything like it. At first, I'm going to be honest, they were super uncomfortable and they killed my feet, but I broke them in and now they are my go-to fall booties. Um, I love them so much and they're so classy and so chic. Oh, and they're pointy-toed, but um, yeah, these are super cute and they're definitely my essential for fall. The last thing I feel like is a fall essential is a cuddle buddy. Yay! Even though she does not like to be cuddled right now, but when she's asleep, I definitely assure you that she's the cuddliest, warmest person in the world. You can grab your mother, your daughter, your sister, your brother. I sound like Mr. 305 right now, but yeah, Cuddle Buddy is such an essential for fall or an animal or pet if you have. Before she destroys everything I have laid out here, I'm going to get going and clean this mess up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, then please let me know. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys so soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you. Say bye.